Okay, so I haven't told Ashley this yet, but I bought a car a couple days ago and I didn't tell her yet. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be surprising her. We're, today is Tuesday, February the 18th. Yeah, see, it's the, it's the 16th. And I wanted to surprise her by telling her that I bought a car, but I, I'm not sure, I haven't even posted anything on YouTube yet. This is going to be like plain reaction of her seeing that I got a new car. Uh, so she's coming over in the next couple minutes. We're going to record. We're just going to be opening gifts casually. My excuse is going to be, oh, we tinted the windows on our previous car. Knowing that instead I bought a car and that's why I haven't been texting her as much. So uh, yeah, let's, yeah. So stay tuned for the reaction. She's currently on her way now. So I figured I'd get all the cameras ready and make sure that everything is set uh, to see her reaction when she comes sees my new car. You're here. I wanted to say hi. I have something to show you. Shut up. <laughs> I bought a car. <laughs> you, you're such a liar. <laughs> what is wrong with I bought you? A, I bought it Friday night. <laughs> he's That's such fun. a liar. He, co he comes to me, he's like, I'm so sad. I couldn't get the car. And he's like all depressed. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was expecting him to say, I'm like, are you here? What are you doing? I literally got it licensed not even two hours ago. Holy we were like, crap. congratulations, buddy. Thank you. You want to see the great. inside? It looks yeah. pretty sick. I just cracked open a black guy, so I put it all the way through. amazing claw mark on the headlight there. I love the way that that looks. I think that's one of the best parts of this car actually. So if you swing around over on this side, you can see that there are, there's nothing on this headlight, but that's just because that's just how it is. Specialty grill here that is all aftermarket from uh, the previous owner. And you see that we have this brown diffusers, this purple diffusers down here. You see that all there, nice purple accents here. And we have purple floodlights and all that stuff. And you might notice that the headlights are also kind of shaded as well. So we do have some 16 inch, uh, I kept the wheels current, but these are 16 inch wheels with the, uh, with the stock Mazda um, rims on them. And they're actually winter tires. So they're pretty nice on the road. Just make the road noise a little bit louder, but that's okay. So a nice clean car. I got her washed yesterday actually. So you can notice the, the purple, um, you know, I noticed that the, the purple, underneath there as well. The coolest part I like is the smoked tail lights. I think that's one of the coolest parts of this car. And you have the black emblem here as well. We have a massive trunk that is huge. So this is what I use to hold my snowplow basically. That's pretty much it. I originally wanted to get a hatchback, but instead I got the sedan because of how nice the, actually the black looks. So, Fortunately, it still looks pretty clean today. Um, it did snow a lot before we started filming this. So uh, so yeah, let's get right on into the interior. So it's reasonably clean on the inside as well. Yeah, if you want to come and sit inside, you can. So when you get inside the car, you may notice that there's it's a nice clean design. You don't have any extra buttons. And uh, yeah, you got our nice dials here. So if I put her in accessory mode, you see everything lights up. We got our heated seats. We got our Mazda 3 screen here. It's a nice, looking thing and as well we have our uh, CD drive which I'll never be using because it's CD. And here you can see we have our speedometer, we have our uh, tachometer, we got our RPM gauge, we got our how much range we have left in the fuel mileage. I don't know if I can use this dial to see all your different things like you got your applications as well. You see your radio traffic map, your fuel like uh, economy monitor. So I've been driving reasonably well. Um, you can see your maintenance and all that stuff and then you have your radio your entertainment You can choose all types of things from your audio sources and uh, Yeah, you can choose uh, Anything from Bluetooth stitcher USB like there are so many options you can use 
Um, and then if you go back to the communication, there's all your texting, your notifications, your... Just because this is a Ben Lowry car, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the sound setting. So <laughs> we have bass all the way cranked here. And we have the we have the trouble up there, and then we just have the fade and the balance. Nice looking car, great, great uh, fuel economy. And as well, we can even switch it into manual mode, and you got your manual crank as well. So yeah, that is our basically our interior of the car. Why don't we go for a test drive now? So we're gonna put it in reverse, and I wanna show you the backup cam here. Now we're gonna go for a quick test drive here, now that I close the garage. It actually just started raining where we're at now, so we're gonna go for a quick little smooth ride and see what we can do here. So, car seems to be running pretty smooth here today. But, yeah, it's got 155 horsepower at 4,000 RPMs. Um, so yeah, so you can really get up to speed on it as well. Uh, yeah, what else? It's front wheel drive. It's got, uh, it's got an inline four cylinder engine, two liter engine actually. Uh, so you got nice specs for a pretty cheap car. I, I, I mean, it looks super sporty for it being this price that I bought it used. It's under 100,000 kilometers, as you could, as you probably saw from the tachometer earlier on. So um, yeah, I've had an excellent time driving this thing. There's no complaints whatsoever. As a teenager driving a car like this, you would never expect uh, um, a teenager to drive a car like this just because it's so nice. You can touch the screen when you're on... Uh, when you're sitting still, but when you're driving, you have to use the knob, which I think is really cool because it's nice and techy and there's nothing really added to it. It's a nice little sleek design here. So eventually I'll get Android Auto on this thing. So here we go. We'll go for a little launch test here. She's flying. It's nice. And again, it gets up to speed exactly when you want it to. You may be wondering is, what are the speakers like in this car? So I'm gonna turn off the background music here and I'm gonna crank the bass on here. We have a built-in sub because the previous owner put a sub in here. So when I crank this up either on my steering wheel or on my little knob here on the side, you get some pretty high bass. Base. Obviously, you can't really feel that when you're listening to uh, phone speakers, but other than that, it's a really nice ride. So, transmission is so good. Like the amount of uh, pep it gets in its step, I'm barely touching the gas, and this thing shifts so nice. Currently at half a tank, we have 242 kilometers, I guess, left until we got to refill. I filled it to full from 50 kilometers left on Tuesday when I surprised Ashley with it, um, and then that's when we went on our first cruise. Amazing cruise. Best cruise of my life, probably. The first cruise is always the greatest cruise. So it was sunny outside. There wasn't any snow outside, honestly. So I got to experience the whole Mozzie at its glorious. So the only things I need to really get for this car is uh, summer tires. Because this came with winter tires, but I didn't get any summer tires, which is okay. I'll probably get some used ones later. Um, but yeah, so the only thing I can't figure out is a sunglass holder. Because when you come up here and try and put it up, my sunglasses are so thick they don't even fit in them. Yes, they do. Oh no, they don't. Yeah, they're not wanting to fit, so. That's an oopsie for me, I should have checked that. <laughs> Maybe I need a lesser of sunglasses, so. So we're pulling into the driveway here. We're gonna pull in here. I think we're gonna back into our spot, because there's nothing really else that we need to really see here. That concludes our test drive with Mozzie. I really hope you enjoy this. And yeah, let's move back on to the studio. So I said I was gonna, we were gonna go to the studio, but I actually completely lied to you. I just wanted to say one quick thing uh, I forgot to put in there. The only way I got this car was to actually fight and work my butt off and sacrifice hours with friends to go make sure that I work all the time. So what did I learn from buying this car is that you need to work and work and work and fight for those goals and then you'll be able to pay for them and afford them eventually. So 
I was not expecting to get a car this early, but you know what? I had the money, I had the time, and I said, you know what? Let's full send it and get it out of the way. So there you go. If you fight for your dreams, you can totally accomplish what you want. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hopefully there's going to be more stuff coming out soon. If not, you can also see me on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming four days a week, every week until April. So if you guys are watching this past April, I'll probably be on YouTube much more. So without further ado, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time on Salton Nation. First time together in like forever, what do you think? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool? I know. Get that car started. Let's go.